Hello, my darlings, how are you all? I have so missed reading for you, and I am absolutely delighted to be back today with the very first Veritas Oracle deck to be reading for you. Um, before I start the reading, obviously, I want to say thank you for your patience whilst I've been away. It's been an extraordinarily uh, an amazing creative time and uh, I am very very grateful to each and every one of you who has been supporting me uh, with this new venture. Now the Veritas Oracle deck uh, which I'm so excited it comes in a little tuck box like this and the reason it does is twofold. Number one it means that I can send it internationally at a much better price with postage and packing than it would be if it was otherwise a hardback box with a guidebook. So it's much cheaper to send and I'm delighted to say you'll notice that the postage and packing costs are actually quite surprisingly um, good <laughs> when you come to order if you're ordering from the US or from Australia or from Europe, um, obviously the UK as well. So that's number one. Number two, um, the cards themselves uh, are beautiful, uh, thick 400 gram cards. They're all matte laminated and they all obviously, as you can see, have beautiful designs uh, from Julia, Julia Montgomery, this extraordinary artist. Um, and rather than having the guidebook, I thought that actually, you know, when we when we pull a card and we're not quite sure of the meaning and you go to the guidebook and you have a look, it slightly detaches from the actual flow of the reading itself. So I, this is the first idea I had was to actually put everything on the back of the card. So the reason why the card has appeared for you, the message that lies therein, some questions for you to ponder on, um, and also more of an explanation of all of the different spiritual laws of the universe. Well, not all of them, but I think there are about 12 or 13 that I put uh, intermingled amongst all of these cards. And then there's a go away affirmation uh, for you as well. So it just means that you can immediately see the message that is there for you. These cards are not in any particular order. They are in a complete disorder. But what it does mean is that whenever the card comes out for you, it'll be in the natural order for you within your divine design. The universe will put it into the right order for you and you don't have to flick through number pages in a book. I have also, alongside of that, uh, there is an introduction for you on myself and Julia. There's obviously a thanks, a grateful thanks on the back and alongside the disclaimer and the copyright. And then there is uh, a couple of pages on the Veritas way of reading. So I do advise you if you do order a deck to have a have a read of this. It just gives you um, a sort of overview on the cards and why they have uh, you've either been interested in them yourself or you might have been given them as a gift. But it just explains the way of reading these cards that might make um, sense to you. And then there are is a little cheat sheet on the laws of uh, the universe, the specific ones that I have highlighted or Spiritus has highlighted within these cards. And of course, the front of the card has the main message there for you as well. So there we are, my darlings. That is the Veritas Oracle deck, 27 cards plus three additional cards for you. Um, I am so excited to be doing this today. I'm a little bit nervous as well. It's it's slightly extraordinary using your own uh, deck of cards. Thank you so much, Spirit. So shall we see what Spirit wants to um, say to you? Thank you. So if you, if, by the way, as I'm just shuffling again, if you would like to reserve your deck before Spa Fest, uh, do please uh, click on the link below and let me know uh, how many decks you would like. And I will make sure that I don't take them off of me to the festival next week. So, so much love to you all. And let's start the reading. Thank you, Spirit. A message for today as a general. Thank you. Using the Veritas Oracle deck. Thank you so much. Look at that. We've got Journey beautiful card from Julia that's come out um, with the cattle when she lived in uh, East Africa. So the journey card, you can see he's standing still here. The journey card says, there is no rush. You are exactly where you're intended to be within your divine design. And that is something for all of us that because we're always thinking about the future and thinking about tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow, Unless we actually take a pause and we take a stop and we take a moment 
to actually feel what it's like to be in the perpetual pre pre present, we don't tend to notice the present, do we? We're always thinking and planning. And even if it is, you know, just the everyday things that we do um, in terms of things at home or getting to work or whatever we're doing, it's, it's very much about um, rushing to do the next thing. And spirit is saying there is no rush take the pressure off yourself it is also important that you understand that you might have been on a bit of a journey so far you can see here with the mountain behind you've certainly come a long way that's what they're saying you've come a long way and actually you need to recognize that perhaps you need a pause time a rest time you're not being asked to advance quickly at this stage. You're being asked to recognize that now is the time to just stop, to just stop. And the other thing about this card uh, is to say that these cows, in, in many cultures, are considered sacred beings. So there may be those around you that you may not consider a sacred being, um, but they are there for you to encourage you and support you and guide you at this time. It is also important that you remain grounded as many times as you can, especially in this extraordinary weather we're having, certainly in the UK, but I'm sure wherever you are, to walk barefoot as much as possible, to take in the natural healing energy that's coming up through the earth. Animals are always in contact with earth's beautiful energy. We're not since we wear rubber shoes, rubber sole shoes. So take that moment to do that because it's, it's and stand still and accept the energy that's coming up, uh, up through you and release also what isn't, um, you know, what isn't, it's, it's kind of like the sticky stuff within you, just release it into the ground, send it into mother nature as well. So there is no rush, you're exactly where you're intended to be in your divine design. I'm going to read the back, if that's OK, just so you get an example of what the back of the card is. Um, and then we'll move forward with a little bit of tarot for you. It says, in receiving this card, you are being asked to pause in this perfect moment and reflect on where you are and look at the beautiful big picture. A spiritual journey is one in which we desire to live life consciously and, intention and intentionally in the perpetual present where we seek to understand life from the purest of perspectives, in which we seek to gain insight about ourselves and we desire to have a deepening connection to God, the universe, source energy, whichever resonates with us. So I really feel, if I take a pause for a second, that this is a moment of your life where you are truly deepening your connection to yourself. It's really a powerful time for you. Where am I? Um, okay, it is a journey in which we look to move beyond our comfort zone, our comfort state, confined or resistant state of being and stretch ourselves seeking further expansion, further growth, questioning our beliefs and being open to new perspectives and a higher loving power. One of the first stepping stones along this path is acceptance, a conscious choice to not resist the twists and turns of our life path, but rather to be receptive to it all, trusting it is for our greatest good. Surrender and accept and bless this perfect present moment that is a thread of your divine design, the law of resistance. You are beginning to understand that everything is happening for a reason, although it may be challenging to let go of trying to lead the situation. Do you see he's leading the cattle? You are being asked to have active faith in your soul's perfect plan. Maybe it will be revealed to you just around the corner or maybe a little longer, but you are exactly where you are meant to be. And in hindsight, you will understand why the journey unfolded this way. Those that surround you, despite appearances, are sacred spiritual beings guiding you to grow and transform. You have over overcome past challenges and now the open road is ahead. 
rest a while and try not to rush. Otherwise, you may miss some guideposts, some key guideposts for your path of least resistance. And the affirmation is, I stand still in present acceptance and shall look to follow the path of least resistance. So that is the journey. And we've all been on a journey together, haven't we, within this Veritas family space. I really, truly feel that. And we're all here. We've come together as well to support one another, to help one another, to be of service to another. These cattle are of service as well. They may not be aware of what they're being of service means, but they are of service. It's a little bit like the chicken doesn't know what its purpose is, but it, it has its life purpose. And these cattle have a purpose. And so Spirit is also saying, you don't need to know all of the answers right now. You may not, you may be frustrated that you don't know what the purpose of this all is for, but it will be shown to you. And even if you're unaware of it, acknowledge that just like these cattle, you have already fulfilled so much of your life's purpose as a soul being here that you may be completely unaware of. We all have in each and every interaction we may have within our soul community, whether we know them well or not so well, there's always a reason for everything. There's always a purpose to everything. So it may not be this huge big life purpose, but it is vitally important in all of your interactions how you have been handling that and um spirit is saying that you are very <clears throat> i'm going to use the word sensual um you're very um connected at this time you're very aware you're very observant you're there's something very traditional and I don't know why that word's come through, but there are certain things that you're doing that almost are coming from past lifetimes for you that you're now sort of absorbing yourself in and uh, understanding the part that you're playing and remembering, remembering too. So, and the other card that came out for you is peace. So on this journey about where you are right now, peace and spirit has given me Peace means powerfully embracing acceptance of circumstances evolving. It's peace. Be a peaceful presence and lead by example. Be a messenger of kindness, compassion, and grace. When I was doing these cards, and I have to tell you this because it's it's a lovely um, universal um, example message. I was sitting not at home. I was sitting up in near Cambridge and um and I was uh sitting in a in a wonderful um bar restaurant pub and uh I was sitting in the corner quietly and there was a Shakespearean festival on at the pub and I knew what I wanted to say about peace but the the kind of framework for it hadn't yet spiritually set into place within me to flow and so I said to the universe, thank you so much for giving me the key, the starting point of it. Thank you for, for those words, for the, for the beginning of the flow. And the bar was very busy and there was a sort of high hum of voices. And suddenly, literally just a few seconds after I said that, over the top of those voices, this woman said, to be or not to be, that is the question. And I laughed because that was my immediate answer from spirit about this card for peace. So um, <laughs> to be or feel peace is something that is a choice with us. It's not a state of mind, which is always in flux. It's a state of being. And um, we can choose or not choose to be peace. Again, I'm going to read the back of this card because I'd love you to get a flavor for the card. And also the message is key alongside the journey card. But they are asking you to be this messenger of peace, to be peace, to act as peace. And once you become peace because you have made a choice to do so in the being of it, then you will do it. Then you will act on it and then you will have it. So many times we strive to have peace 
but we're not being it. So when, if you put the do first and then the be, if you think if I do this, then I'll be this and then I'll have this, it doesn't work. You have to decide to be it first, then act on it, then do it, and then you will have it. So let me just read this for you. Um, to be and feel peace is such a serene, blissful state of being, to not be deeply affected by people, events, or present circumstances, to not be influenced by any external energetic forces, to be free of disturbance and feel tranquility, to ride the wave of any turbulent times. How does one become peaceful if around us it is chaotic, conflicting, or uncomfortable? How does one develop and maintain a blissful state of being when faced with the ups and downs of life's challenges? It starts and ends with you. To be peace or not to be peace is always our choice. If we strive to obtain peace externally, we are making a firm, energetic, internal statement that we are not at peace. We are in a vibrational contrast to that which we are looking to be. It is always out of our reach. This applies to everything we desire. The universe responds to who we are, not what we desire to have or to be. How can one do this then? Firstly, take a deep breath and give a message of acceptance to yourself that we all know, so be it, just so be it in resignation of any conflict. Let it be as it is, let them be as they are. However, now choose to embody peace and in the words of the universe encouraging you, so be it. Be the peace you wish to see, to be peace simply because you make a conscious decision to be so, and it feels wonderful for you to choose to do so to be the change you wish to see in your world. You can lead by example with regards to this matter. You can act as a messenger of love and peace. You can be the solution if you cease to be part of the conflict. Peace is simply the absence of conflict. What you resist persists, what you bless rests. It takes two to tango, the law of non-resistance. Be peace first, then act as peace, and then you will have peace. Peace is not a state of mind, which is always in a shifting state. Peace is a state of being. And the affirmation is, so be it. I choose acceptance. I also choose to be it, the peaceful solution. So that alongside your journey is a important message for you at this time, he is at peace here. He is at peace where he is. The cattle are also following his lead. So be the peace you wish to see, be the peaceful messenger and you will have it if you pause for a moment and reflect on the spiritual stance that you are taking, the energetic stance you are taking, the physical stance that you are taking at this time. You are grounded, my darling. And uh, there may be some shadows at the moment that are casting, you know, the ca things that are casting a shadow on where you are, but they're there to draw your attention uh, to the fact that, you know, you, if you can powerfully embrace acceptance of the circumstances evolving and, and be the messenger, be the peaceful messenger, be that peaceful state of being where you are right now, you're then going to see a new shift in the path that's up ahead. And do you see the giraffe just in the corner there eating the tree? Giraffes eat from a certain tree, which actually admits a certain a smell to them when um, to, to sort of shoo them off. And you may have felt, you know, the giraffe is here by the tree and they travel long distances. And the giraffe represents your higher self and seeing the big picture. So the giraffe is found somewhere that, is giving it food for thought, food for the soul there. So where you are right now can give you a great deal of food for your soul, can give you a great deal of food for thought. And they do want you to pause right now and consider those messages. Um, let me just pull, let me just pull uh, one of the guardian angel messages for you because I was using it earlier in a personal reading. Uh, and uh, see what wishes to come out. There we go. Look at that. 
the queen of earth, the queen of pentacles. This is the being card, okay? This is the being, being a peaceful presence, being a valuable peaceful presence, taking valuable action for yourself at this time, being gracious, being generous of spirit, being accommodating from a place of understanding others, being more than capable of affecting a positive change in your life. It's almost like turning away from this mirror and saying, you know what, I'm ready now. I'm ready to be this. And this is of huge value to my life. And then you've got the justice card. So th this is to say that everything is working out fairly. The laws of the universe are never unfair. Everything is um, always done in proportion to um, the energy involved. For example, the law of correspondence is that we receive what we have given. But this card is to show you that everything is fair, that everything will be fairly resolved according to the laws of the universe. If you can step into this place of the peaceful pause, let's just put it that way, the peaceful pause at this moment in time, and the laws of the universe are working for you. This is the law of karma, it says here. And I know the law of karma can sometimes feel a little negative, but it's not. It's the law of cause and effect. It's the law of consequence. For every act, thought, word, deed we do, there is already within it a consequence and, a, and an inherent result, a blueprint within it. And so in the actions that you're taking at this time, there are already results that have happened that you may not have seen yet. But... Um, break free of any illusion you have at this time that you're not where you're meant to be. You're exactly where you're meant to be, my darling. And it's all working out beautifully for you. And you have come through an extraordinary time. And you've got this flat road ahead now. It's it's a flat road. And, and it's quite open as well. You maybe have a few twists and turns, but it's quite open. But it's also very nurturing for you too. And I just want you to have a... a I feel this is almost ancestral as well. They sort of re remind me of sort of old ancestral uh, paintings. I was talking to another lovely tarot reader who was talking about this as well, that there's something very ancestral with this. There's something very traditional. And maybe this is involving family ties and family patterns that have gone back generations. And you're the one here to help heal that and to break perhaps patterns of behavior. But either way, you are surrounded here by sacred beings who are supporting you. And you are exactly where you're meant to be on this journey uh, right now. And it's beautiful that you've received the peace card too, because this is movement. You're already endeavoring to, looking to, acting upon, coming at this from a peaceful stance and the universe is responding to that now but it's just a reminder for you about what that being peace actually truly means it's not a state of mind it's a state of heart it's a state of being so there we are my darlings i hope you enjoyed the first of the veritas oracle readings again um the link is in the description bo box below if you want to send me um an email to reserve your deck and then I will be popping them in the post uh, to you in early September and the Oracle deck will be available to buy online from my website from the 1st of September but pre-launching next week um, at the Spa Fest at Car Fest. Again the details are below. Love to hear from you um, and, and tell me what you think but I am so delighted to be back reading. I will be doing the September readings going forward over the next two two days um today tomorrow uh, a little bit on friday and then on monday for you so i'd like to get those september readings done before i go off to spa fest um and then i will be back doing uh weekly readings after that so again so much love so lovely to be back and i'm so looking forward to hearing from you take care my darlings bye bye